Chinese clone board doing a standing start. This video is about um, installing a new electronic speed controller, uh, in this case a VESC or VESC. Um, you can see the blue light in there. Um, this is not a simple uh, like for like replacement, it's a significant upgrade. The VESC itself is an electronic speed controller um, created by Benjamin Vedder uh, for the electronic skateboard community and it's the best. It has a multitude of configuration options, um, has good programmable limitations to protect it, and it's flexible. It can be used in a variety of battery and motor combinations. I've been testing it for the past week on this uh, board, which is effectively a stock Chinese clone, apart from the um, electronic speed controller. And I can tell you it's a significant improvement over the um, unmodified Chinese clone board. The first thing to note is I'm not an expert when it comes to programming the VESC, I'm still learning. Okay, so what um, issues, problems does the VESC solve? The first thing it improves upon is reliability. Um, the VESC has a series of programmable limitations and um, the 60 amp limitation that I chose to use um, is good. It stops the motor um, from drawing too much current from the VESC and thereby blowing the VESC. Um, how do I know this? Well, I've been up several hills and depending on the um, length of the hill and definitely the steepness of the hill, it will start slowing down as it goes up the hill and it will almost come to a crawl. You might think that's um, annoying. It's not. It's, um, it's a good thing. It means it's limiting the current draw and thereby prevents the VESC from blowing. I've left the stock BMS in there and um, that's still alive and kicking, so I have a feeling the current draw is sufficiently low that the current going through the BMS um, never reaches a point where it blows the BMS. So effectively the VESC protects the BMS as well. The acceleration curve on this is much better than the original speed controller. Um, I don't know if there's a way to configure the acceleration curve yet. Um, I've not delved that deep into the um, application you use to configure the VESC, but the default acceleration curve um, is perfectly fine. A big problem with the original speed controller was the braking. It was far too sharp and threw me off a couple of times. With the VESC, it's, um, it's, it's much better. Um, it will be fairly sharp when it's fast, but won't throw me off, and the slower the board is, the more soft the braking. You can configure it, um, but um, I've, I've done some light configuration and it's it's good as it is. As you saw in the uh, intro, it now does standing starts. And that's with a sensorless motor. I mean, that's awesome. It's um, like riding the boosted board. You don't have to get off the thing and kick start it at all. The experiences I've described so far, the uh, improvements, are with the board at its current state of um, configuration. And I haven't finished. Um, I'm still learning the BLDC tool and um, the options in there. So this could well be better in the future. Um, something else to note, um, firmware upgrades are likely for the VESC uh, and there's an application being developed uh, which can go on your phone and which connects to the VESC wirelessly. So you could, um, whilst you're out and about, um, continue to fine tune the configuration settings. So installation, um, I wanted to emphasize how much this simple single modification improves a Chinese clone. So I fitted it into this board rather than that modified Chinese clone. Everything is stock. Um, the motor, the BMS is still inside this one, I haven't removed it. Um, anything that's different is the speed controller itself. How did I fit it? Like so. Um, the VESC is uh, fairly long and you need to remove some material from here I can get it in the light, there we go. Um, that plastic strut has to be lowered because it was too tall. Um, so just tack away at that. That one's already fairly low and this will then rest on both of those and goes in between those struts there. That's a snug fit. Uh, you need to extend the wires here. Um, don't use screw terminals, I've just done that because this is all temporary whilst I'll test. So the physical fitting is fairly easy. 
and like I say on this board of even if there be a mess in place. I wanted to see if this will blow um, the limits set by this and so far after a week of heavy testing it's still alive and kicking. To program the VESC um, there's an application called BLDC Tool. Um, it's fairly complicated um, and there's no uh, manual describing how to use it and information about it is scattered throughout the web. Um, however, there is a useful um, tutorial video. I will post links to the BLDZ tool and the video in the description below. To connect it, that's all you need. Get BLDZ up and running first. Um, turn the board on, but don't connect it just yet to the USB lead. Give it a few seconds. Then plug this in. After you've connected the powered board to the laptop, uh, you need to connect it in the software. The top right, there's a bunch of COM ports. You need to find the one that works for you. Bottom right, down here, um, it says not connected. That should change when you get the right COM port. Eventually it will flash green and say connected, and you're up and running. Now I've got your read configuration over there and those zero values should change. And these are the VESC settings. These are the ones that I've um, set it on for the board. As I said before, um, I'm not an expert um, with this application, not by any means. Um, the settings I'm going to show you are the ones that um, I've used to get the board up and running and they should serve well for you um, at the very least as a good starting point. I'm not going to go through every single option here, um, rather use that tutorial video for that. Um, but I will briefly go through some of the stuff that I've done. Okay, first thing um, is motor type. I've chosen the BLDC option. Um, FOC is meant to be very good and I will play around with that in the future. But I started off with BLDC. The current limits, this is where you choose the limitations for the uh, current draw. Um, I've chosen 60 amps. Uh, this does mean that when it goes up a hill, if it's um, steep, uh, it will slow down. I'd much prefer that to having the um, speed controller blow. Regen options, they control the braking. Um, there's a relationship between um, when the regeneration kicks in and the power of the braking. If you Google around, you'll see the details for that. The temperature, minimum duty cycle, and RPM limits I left at default. Seem to work well enough for me. The voltage limits need to be correct. Um, you don't want to um, make the batteries go below three volts for each cell. Um, this is a six cell battery pack, so I've chosen 18 volts. Um, the other ones I'm gonna play around with. Um, if you want to be on the safe side, you could increase 18 volts a little bit. Um, that will also account for any disparity between the cells in the battery if they're not quite balanced. After you've configured the motor BLDC options, go to BLDC itself, um, obviously sensorless. You'll need to detect parameters. So if you go to start detection, the motor will do, uh, there we go, the following. <coughs> which will give you some values. Um, to enter. If you do apply, uh, that's that side of it done. I'm not sure what any of that is, um, but I know you have to do that. As I said, I'm not an expert in this at all. FOC, um, I haven't played around with any of this stuff. Um, it's meant to be very useful. Um, I will in the future. Uh, that's where it is if you want to. App configuration, um, this is about the controller. Um, this might be on no app when you're here, you want to choose PPM. And don't forget, after every change that you've made, uh, click on right to force it through to the VESC. So that's it, that's the bare minimum that I did to get the VESC and motor combination um, to a level that I'm happy with. Um, I don't know uh, anywhere near enough about this application yet, so there's a lot more room for improvement. But like I said before, that will serve as a good starting point, I think. With the introduction of that one component, a VESC, um, you can take a Chinese clone electric longboard um, and transform it. Uh, those two weak points, the speed controller and BMS, um, are solved. The speed controller is replaced 
which means the braking is better, acceleration is better, can do standing starts, and reliability is improved. And it seems to protect the BMS. Um, I will continue to test this, and if there's any developments, I will let you know. Um, I'm also thinking of taking this and putting it into that, and I'll have the alternate um, Chinese clone electric longboard.